Hi everyone, welcome back. So over the last few videos I've been mainly concentrating on track reviews, I've done a number of free roam track reviews so do check those out on my channel and those links are in the description too. But today I'm again going to start to look at graphics mods because looking around the scene at the moment there's some great PP filter graphic mods out there. So the gameplay you can see here is actually running a Gran Turismo style graphics mod and I'm going to show you where that is and how to install and what it looks like. But as ever, if you do like the video, do click on that subscription button, it really does help me to grow the channel. Right, let's jump in. This download again is from Race Department and the link will be in the description below. This is made by Vatsky and Vatsky has been a photographer for 20 years, it's in the, all in the description. Uh, looks like he's put a lot of work into this and the graphics look great on these pictures. So as ever, just click on the download link, click on save file, click on OK and that will drop into your download location. Now I'll just explain in a moment how you actually install that on your Assetto Corsa files because it is slightly different. But what you will do to actually choose this is go to settings, video, and then you can see in the filter drop down box there, you can choose the GT Sport filter. And to actually install this file, you need to drop the extracted file into your mods directory in Assetto Corsa. So if that's in your Steam library, it will be under Steam library, Steam apps, common, Assetto Corsa, and then mods. That should make this selectable in Content Manager. So, now we have that installed, let's take a look at the gameplay. So this is me driving a GT3 car at the Neuschkleifer. As you can see, it looks absolutely gorgeous. This is running the new PP filter that we've just installed. And this is also running a number of other graphical mods. So if you've watched my other videos, you'll know a lot about those. But if not, and you've got a fresh install of a set of Corsa, I will be posting a video very soon about how you go from scratch to these video settings in one tutorial video. But also do check out my channel and the other Assetto Corsa videos because some of those do talk you through step by step how to install Content Manager, Sol, Custom Shader Patch, the Wet Mod and a number of other additions to your graphics. Now because we've got this PP filter or post processing filter on, I just thought I'd show you the differences that this can actually make to the game. So as you can see here, I'm choosing different post-processing filters that I have installed. So we started out with the Gran Turismo one, and we're just going to go through now. So the default one you can see there is very dark. And cycling through these, they make an incredible difference whether you want to take screenshots or whether you want to race in certain conditions, even a black and white sepia one there. Now Custom Shader Patch and Sol have a number of these graphical effects actually built in and they're the ones that you can choose to begin with when you start to understand how you want your graphics to look but the beauty is that all these are fully configurable and they do make a significant difference to the way that the game looks and even plays too because remember these graphical effects are actually putting strain on your PC rig and on the, obviously on your video card. Now that we're back to the Shades GT Sport version if I change the time of day here, you can also see the impact it has on the way that your graphics look. And one of the beauties of Sol is that all these are configurable. So what I'm doing here is just cycling through the day and that will change the position of the sun depending on the weather as well, whether I've got clouds or rain. And it really is incredible the kind of atmosphere that you can build using these effects. So now I've shown you a little bit of a tutorial on the PP filters, let's jump back into the gameplay. Here we are then, 1990s touring cars, Ford Sierras, around Silverstone. Oops, a little bit aggressive there. Having lots of fun on this circuit. I have the weather in Seoul here set at clear to show off the amazing lighting effects. And here, 1960s Mini racing, again, lots of fun around Silverstone. These Minis feel really fast, but they top out about 95 miles an hour. Great fun though. The interior of these minis look really great as well on this filter and I am going to be doing some VR videos on Assetto Corsa just to really show you around some of these cars and especially some of the older classics. The mod community is brilliant at keeping these cars alive and really showing them off to people that may never have seen them in real life. I'm also just producing and finishing a video on 1990s British cars also with a great new British map so keep your eyes out for that too. Right then, back to the PP filter, Gran Turismo. So what do you think about this? 
So this gameplay here, when I go around this corner, and you see the way the light shines on the car and on the windscreen, I think it's absolutely phenomenal. And for me, this really does capture the way that Gran Turismo pulled together these great effects. And the last game was in 2017, but remember Gran Turismo has been around since the mid 90s. Now I do also realize that this PP filter may not be for everyone. Indeed, a lot of the videos that I have created have been trying to create realism in the game and trying to create a way of looking at the graphics that is more true to life. However, I do believe there's a place for PP filters like this one. The replays on this game look incredible. The lens flare, I love it. Okay, it's over the top, but I still love it. And actually, if you're gonna play this on a sim rig or you're just gonna have some fun, I think this is great, it's perfect. And just to show off the lighting effects on this PP filter a little more, at the end of this video, I've put in a replay of when I've actually moved the time of day in Sol. Later in the evening, sun setting, looks really cool around Silverstone with the GT3 cars, so do check that out at the end of the video. And as I always say on these videos, big, big call out to Vatsky that has put a ton of time into this to develop this mod for the community and put it out there for people to try out literally came out three or four days ago so pretty much hot off the press so if you do like this do support that guy and do drop on his page on race department and support him wherever you can now one thing i haven't done in this video is show you this pp filter in showroom showroom can be a lot of fun grabbing your favorite car putting it in the perfect showroom and getting the lighting effects just right with the filter on that you want on yeah that's great take those perfect screenshots for your desktop so if you do want to experiment with Showroom, do check out my video on Content Manager Showroom and how best to use it. A little bit of a tutorial and guide. And remember, you can change any PP filter into that Showroom once you have it set up. So that's a great place to go to check it out. As ever, I've had a lot of fun making this video for you guys and I'm really enjoying showing you around a set of Corsa and showing what the new graphics can do and also those great tracks and cars for you to download. Just remember, I do upload every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday. And if you do want to help me grow the channel, then clicking on that subscribe button and clicking on the notifications and liking the video really does help me out. So thank you for watching, guys. There's some cool replay footage here when I've kind of dimmed the lights on the track. So check that out and I'll see you all soon.